everybody. This is Linda Carruthers, and I just wanted to show off my uh, fall journal. It's made with fabric and paper, both. So I uh, finished it, and it's uh, not naked, and it's not complete. Uh, I left room for, uh, I'm gonna put it on sale for I think $25 and uh, anybody that whoever buys it they can put their own stuff in it but anyway here it is and uh, I just wanted to show it off and uh, if you're interested in it just leave a comment down below and let me know okay first of all this is the front page uh, let's see I'm going to say it's about 8 by uh, 5 or somewhere around in there. Um, or 8 by 6. Uh, it is done in fabric. The fabric in this uh, book is mostly, in this journal, is mostly done with fabric I got from Patty Lane or Michelle Scott. Uh, the uh, papers I got from Hobby Lobby or, uh, yeah, or Walmart. And uh, uh, or they come out of a magazine. I fussy cut it I'm out of a magazine. And if they come out of a magazine, I'll let you know. Okay. First of all, this is a uh, weed. You can... Let me get my finger up there where you can see. All right, see, you can see that it's weaved right there. And I love the colors in this because these are all like fall, fall colors. These are all muted browns, muted greens, oranges. There's some cream colors. There's a little bit of burnt orange or dark red. Uh, there's even this color right here which at first I thought it was a brown, but it's kind of a dark purplish brown. So uh, there's some purples in here. And most of the colors are kind of muted in some way or another. Now, this is a, uh, this bow thing is a, like a curtain rod, uh, like a curtain, pull back and I took it and I tea dyed it because it was too bright for me. It uh, was white and green and purple and so I tea dyed it to make it muted in color so that it wouldn't uh, it would uh, look more muted in color. Now I would have done it the tie in this color but i only had this little piece here and it matches the book so i put it as a dangle up here with a, a big uh paper clip on it okay so it's a, it's a like a about i'd say about an inch and a half maybe two inches wide and i just uh let it dangle up there. The book is um, one signature and the binding is done with these buttons. There's a cream button there. There's a, it's a dark burnt orange button. Well, it's most, almost a red button there. And then there's this bright orange button there. Okay. And I did use some buttons. Now, this, uh, yeah, if I can move it out of the way. All right, this is a piece of that, uh, anyway, let me undo this and I'll show you what it is. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find the piece. Hmm. It's a piece of that white stuff that I showed y'all I got from the church. 
And, uh, yeah, here's one. Okay. This is the same as this right here. It's a piece of foam stuff that I got from my church when they were redoing the, the uh, podium. Uh, the, uh, yeah. Or the stage or whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I took and did like this. I put some paper on the front and I just glued it on here. Now, I took some of this eyelet trim or whatever. Anyway, and I put around the edges so you wouldn't see the white. And I put it on there. I also put some around the edges on the book to give it that braided look. And this is uh, a leaf on the, uh, on the fabric. And I wanted to kind of accent it with fall colors. So there's a lime green, the orange. This looks black, but it's not. It's a dark, deep purple. This is a reddish purple. And uh, almost, well, it looks like maroon, but it's a purple. It looks maroonish in here, but it's a purple. And then there's a cream button. And these three down here, I think, are vintage buttons. These are some buttons that a friend of mine gave me. And uh, I use them. And so that's the front page. Then this is the inside of the cover. I did it in this green, and it's got this um, texture to it. And uh, I got the fabric from Patty Lane. This is some vintage lace, fine uh, Venetian lace. And then this is a piece of beige, light beige trim lace. Uh, this is a piece of white material. And then there's this uh, kind of Venetian lace trim here that I put on the top. I made this a binder. Uh, yeah, and this is a uh, trifold. Now, uh, I do uh, a lot of junk that you get in the mail. I make it into uh, trifolds and bifolds and pockets and stuff like that. And this is a trifold that I made. And I used a calendar, and this is the October page in a calendar and it's got the Halloween, got the festival, the fall festival, house decorated for the fall, got the haystack and the pumpkins, and this is the other side of it, and there's the trees, and it says welcome, and I can't read the rest of it, but it's on there. Now on the inside, it says now, to me, fall represents home because um, you do your uh, fall festivals, which is mostly done around your home community. You do your trick-or-treating and your Halloween is done around your home community. Thanksgiving is also done at your home. And so those kind of remind me of home so I did this journal basically thinking of home and uh, it says on this page it says the best place is home then in the middle now I cut fussy cut uh, first of all the background is off of that calendar and then this the best place is home came out of a magazine came out of a, um, like a Stoneberry magazine, a sales magazine. Uh, there's this little bit of trim here. Uh, it's just to cover the, between the two so that you don't see all the junk back there. Then uh, this, uh, on this page, the background is out of a regular magazine. I couldn't tell you what the name of the magazine was. 
and then the house and the thing was out of uh, I think it's Stoneberry magazine. Uh, this is a little sticker showing it. You are going that way, and it says your course for success, and that is your home, your family. And then uh, this picture is a picture of uh, like a farm field, and uh, it looks kind of fallish, so I put it on there. And of course, we have our little mices with their pumpkins during the fall. And then we have our autumn leaves up there. And we have some more of that lace to cover in, in between. Now, there is no pockets in here. But uh, you can add what you like to in there. And so this goes, and it goes in your binder, like so. Now this next page is done in purple. And of course I made a, um, a pocket, it's a pocket right there. It says just start, and the arrows point either way. There's a flower, and there's definitions. And I use this and usually you see this on like uh, New Year's Day or the 4th of July or something. But I thought, what better way to use it as to celebrate uh, homecoming. We have homecoming at your church during the fall. You have homecoming when your people come to visit. Uh, usually during the fall for Halloween or for Thanksgiving, that sort of thing. So that's what I was thinking about, celebrating your family. Okay, on this page, this is, the background is done in orange and purple flowers with a little bit of brownish leaves there. Uh, so I put this piece of purple here to bring out the purple flowers. Now, there's this piece here. You can slide tags in there, which I have tags in there. There's another one. Oh, this stuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. So anyway, here's a pocket. Came out of a magazine. It's got the ducks. Usually you go hunting during the fall. No, men do, anyway. There's some more definitions. And there's another piece of the dark purple. And then you got your tags. Your tags. Your tags. These were made with napkins, paper napkins. And this one is done in green leaves and uh, little orangish daylilies. Kind of reminds you of fall. Uh, then we have this purple tag, which somebody sent me and you can write on the back and I'm sorry if uh, my hand shakes I'm, I'm trying to hold this and do it too I don't have a tripod and here's some more flowers uh, I know fall is not really known for its flowers it's mostly mums but uh, I didn't have any mums but I wanted to show off the flowers okay now, this is another page with the, uh, from the calendar, and it's got the birds, it's got the church and the house, it's all lit up, and this is for fall, and this is the other side of that, and it's the calendar where you got the dates at, so I put this piece here on there, and this is all your fall vegetables. So I put that on there. And then at the fair, they have their, um, like you take your jams and your jellies and your uh, pies and your knitting work and your crochet and all that stuff there to be judged. 
Well, this is cross stitching. It's not, this is just a paper here, but it's a copy of the cross stitching of a, what you call a sampler. And uh, that has your ABCs on there. And so it's been in frame in paper. Uh, then I put some, this here trim here is off of a blouse. And then I put a doily with a little dark doily right there and a piece of, uh, of um, fabric down underneath it. And I guess you call it snippets. So that's that page. Then you have this page and this is done out of a cloth napkin. And this is done with muted purples and greens. And then I made this pocket using some lace trim. I mean, some uh, light curtain lace. And then I put this trim at the top and I put this lace, which came off of this blouse here. And then I put these buttons. These are like vintage buttons. I won't swear they're vintage buttons, but they look like vintage buttons. And then I put this uh, piece of a flower here and uh, I was going to put something on there and I decided to leave it because I didn't uh, I have to loosen these up I'll have to loosen that up for anyway uh, I didn't want to put anything on there because I couldn't find something I wanted to put on there so I'll leave that to y'all Figure out. All right, now this page is done, and I want to say Michelle Scott gave me this, but I'm not sure about that. Um, but these are done in all them crazy houses in different colors. There's all different colors, the bright colors. And over here, this is a pocket. You can put anything you want to in there. And um, I didn't quite have enough of this napkin to cover all the way over. So I put this piece of paper and this is that Halloween paper with the uh, board and the uh, candy corn and the pumpkin candy on it. But there's a spider right here. And I know I don't like spiders. And I don't know how many of y'all do like spiders, but I wanted to cover the spider up. So I used this black lace that kind of has the spidery legs on it. And I covered it up with that. Okay. Now on this page, this is paper. This is your um, paper. It's got the apples on it. Because in the harvest, in your uh, fall time, you harvest your apples, okay? And, oh, this is a tag that goes in here, and it's one I made. It's, uh, it's uh, done on that piano roll paper I got from uh, Patty Lane, and uh, it has the... Pumpkins up there. I got that piece out of a magazine. And then it's got uh, this piece was out of a magazine. And then this piece was uh, part of uh, the uh, cardstock paper that I got years ago, a couple of years back. That's got mushrooms on it. And I'm going to just stick that in there okay on this page back to the apples then i i found this poem and it talks about a package of seeds well you think well why did you put that in a fall it should go in a spring no well spring is the time you plant the seed and har and fall is usually the time we harvest our, our vegetables and stuff. 
So that's why I put it in there. Because like in the fall, we harvest our pumpkins, our apples, and our sunflowers. And down here we have a cat, we have a watch, clock face, with a black cat and a pumpkin to remind us of Halloween. And here is a basket full of apples. So. Now on this side, there's the apples again. This is a piece of material that's red with blue and yellow flowers that reminds you of the fall. And then this is a uh, gift wrapping paper and it has your purple and your oranges and your yellow colors like fall. And so I use that. Yeah. And then here's another tag and this one has a bird on it. It has some green leaves and some I don't know what you call that, but anyway, it's, I think it's a flower of some sort. Uh, there's a orange, it looks like orange or lemons, and then there's red color, so I thought that was pretty. Now, here is your uh, paper that looks like the gray uh, palette boards, and uh, so I put that on there because the gray reminds you of, you know, it's been there for a while. Okay. I use this crochet trim here, this crochet lace. And then I made another snippet and I put it right here. And this is done using that uh, blouse. Um, there's some Another piece of that fabric right there. There's that blouse. There's some lace. And there's another one in flowers. Okay, and then up here, there's the fabric. Uh, there's some lace. There's that fabric on the, fly, on the blouse. And then there's this crocheted flower somebody sent me. I'll put that there. Okay, here's the next page. Now, this is the orange and purple. I put this trim here. This is lace. Uh, it was cut off of a curtain. And I put these little purple flowers on there. And then I did the background on this page. And this brown, uh, kind of, uh, what I call brown linen. It may not be linen, but it, I call it brown linen. There's a lady again. She's holding her pumpkin. And then here's the other tag. And it's done with yellow paper writing. Uh, this is uh, paper out of uh, one of my paper packs. Uh, this is a house. Well, it's a church, excuse me. It's a church in the autumn time. Look at all them pretty trees, different color leaves. And then there's another piece of paper out of the paper pack. Done in bread. Now, this is another piece of paper done out of a paper pack. And this is done in brown and pink. And it's got writing on it. Now, I say pink, but there's some yellowish orange color there. And so, I didn't want to hide this, so I put this piece of pink see-through material, which is like a belt off of a piece of a uh, dress on there. And then I put the best place is home. And this is like a bind, so you can put something in there if you'd like to. Uh, there's another piece of this strip that I made Oh, uh, it's fabric, and then there's this pink and white fabric. And I know this looks springtime, but I wanted something to have some pink, and I didn't have any muted pink. So I used this, and I used some buttons, some white buttons and a pink button. And it's not fall if you don't have football. And I'm not a sports person, 
But I did want to bring out the fact that fall is the season for sports, most sports. They do football, basketball, and other stuff. Whatever. So this is game day during the uh, fall. And on game day, we gather together. You have touchdowns. These squares are, are out of a paper napkin. Not a fussy cut. And there's your football. And there's another football. And there's your helmet. Now this is a piece of paper. Come out of one of my paper packs. And this is a gift wrapping paper. This is actually a piece of junk mail I got out of the mail. And I wrapped it with this gift wrapping paper and made a pocket. And you can take your tags out and there's your lid. And you have a place you can tuck something in there. You can tuck something. Uh, there's your flower with your uh, butterflies. And there's a piece of white, I mean a pink, uh, a muted pink paper, and there's your card, and there's some little flowers, and then I think you can write on the back of it, yeah, you can write journal on the back of it if you want to. Alright, now this piece of paper, okay. This piece of paper is a pumpkin. Come out, uh, out of a paper pack. This one came out of my uh, pack that I got from Walmart. It was a all occasion pack for the year. And most of these that you've seen came from that. And then there's another one of the houses that came out of the magazine. With the flowers, the pumpkins, and the apples. And then this is the purple. This came out of a paper pack that I had. And uh, I made this uh, pocket here. It's done in lavender. And I put this writing on there, sharing and giving. That's what we usually do during Thanksgiving season and during uh, the fall. And uh, then there's this gift box. You can write on it. All right, you can write on the back. I didn't do anything to it. And then I made this flower. It says free spirit. And then there's some dark purple. And this this right here, this triangle sort of stuff, is Harlequin, and it's a fat, it's a uh, paper napkin. And then there's your two, your two little mices. During the fall season, they like to come out, and there they are with their little pumpkins, gathering away, dipping away. All right, now this is the middle of the journal. And there's your, uh, I was supposed to say snowman, but it's not a scarecrow with his straw. And uh, this is also that paper napkin that had the football on it. It also, uh, football is, t I mean, uh, fall is time for football and it's also the time for Thanksgiving. So we have gobble gobble for our turkey we have food and friends up here and we gather together and we have turkey and pie at thanksgiving or most of us do anyway now this is how i sold it together and it's done with thread and this thread is uh pretty strong it's uh i want to say it's uh wax thread but i'm not sure that that's what it is and now this is a dark uh, reddish colored button that I have hanging there. 
Okay, we're going to try to get through with this, and we already got 30 minutes in, and I'd like to get it done before an hour. Okay, this is a purple page. I cut this out of a jewelry magazine. Um, it is part of a necklace, and I just cut this part out. Made the, the, It can be a flower or a dragonfly, whatever you want to call it. I made this pocket out of some... That, uh, out of some lace. Uh, it's crocheted lace. Is all I'm going to say on that. This is the other side of the pumpkin page. And then there's a turkey down there. Okay. This is the piece background. And then there's another poem. It says, there's something about a garden. And like I said, it's it's a poem deal starts out with spring but then it ends up with what we do how we reap what we sow okay and then down at the bottom i need another it's another uh, strip made uh scraps out of scraps it's uh this linen fabric and then there's this uh lace material that i got out the blouse and then there's a yellow button, an orange button, and a green button. These are not vintage buttons, but they are buttons. <coughs> They're plastic buttons. All right, this background is the orange and the purple and the brown. I put this piece down. It's a muted blue and cream color. And I know that's dogwood flowers. And so please don't go tell me, well, you put dogwood flowers in a fall magazine, in a fall journal. But they're muted, and to me, they they could be like apples, uh, dried apples, if they, hadn't, if they were on the reddish side. But anyway, I like it. I thought it was pretty to bring out the purple. All right, this is uh, some material. I got it at Hobby Lobby a few years back. And this is one of the squares. It came in several squares. And uh, this one had the basket and it had the orange and pink and the dark uh, burnt uh, brownish colored flowers and a little bit of yellow so it kind of gave me the fall thing. And I love the butterfly so I put it a Garden of Promise. And the Garden of Promise is if you always plant a seed, not necessarily a plant seed, but if you always plant a seed, you will reap something. Okay, this is the brown and pink page we saw a while ago. I did put this um, pumpkin on there. It says, Autumn Leaves pumpkin please and then I put this other scraps use some more scraps and I use some fabric I use some lace and I use this pink and white lace I mean fabric here and I use these little vintage like buttons here and I put a pink one in the middle down here I made a pocket using some more of that uh, crocheted fabric and I put a piece of this see-through pink, muted pink trim on there to make it a pocket. Okay, on this side, we have, actually, this looks green in the book, but it's brown. It's like a khaki brown. And uh, background. I used the rest of the green I have. I used this... Uh, quilt square here. It had the green and it had a kind of a khaki color to it. I made a, a piece to go over. Here's your pocket. But I made this piece to go over the top. And uh, this is out of that blouse beige. Uh, this is a flower I cut out of some lace. And then there's this here, another collage that I had made. 
using fabric and lace in this here crochet. Okay? Now, this is the other side. You know, we were talking about the spider a while ago. This is the other side of the thing. You can barely see a spider right there. But I didn't fix him because I didn't think you could see him that good. Anyway, here's your candy cane, your candy corn. There's your uh, wood. There's your burlap. And then down here, I put this little piece of, of brown cardstock, and I put this little village picture on it. And you can use it for a pocket, small pocket, but it's still there. All right, here's the rest of the apple. The apple page. Uh, I put a, uh, I cut out a, a fall wreath, put up there. And here's your pocket. And this is a tag. Uh, this part, the back part, is a pictorial card I had. Then this, uh, there's a paper I got, I uh, had, that I used. Uh, this piece, someone sent me, it's a uh, part of a uh, grain sack. And then they sent me this piece here, which is some roses, red and white roses. And then this piece is a uh, earring, a paper earring that I... Uh, got out of a jewelry magazine that I fussy cut out of and I stapled it together and I made it to a tag. Alright, on this side is the apple page and I wanted to put something in here so you could put stuff in. And so I made this band and the band is made out of felt. It's, this is yellow felt. I put this uh, cream-colored lace over it to kind of bring out, uh, to tone down the, the yellow felt. And then I put one of each colored button on there to give it some color besides the red and the yellow. And this is the other side of the houses. And there's a pocket right here. And this is the rest of the uh, napkin, the purple and green napkin. Here's the other side of it. I made a collage, right? Uh, it's a flip, what I call it. And there's some lace. There's a piece of lace. There's a flower, a lace flower. There's a piece of applique, leaf applique. And then there's a vintage, uh, not wooden button, but it does look like a wooden button. It's a shell button, I think. Now, on this page, this is the calendar page. The inside of the calendar page, you can use it to write on. I put some birds and flowers on there. And I left that one for you to decorate however you wanted to do. And this is the other side, and this is the side that has the picture on it. And it has the farm truck, the barn, or the grain store. Uh, you got a bridge, and stream. So I thought that would be pretty. Uh, this is the orange and purple field. And then I took, this is a piece of that fabric where the square was at. Uh, so this is a piece of it, and I put it on there because of the purple flower. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be yawning. Oh, okay, now this is done in that purple celebration paper. And I wanted something to kind of sparkle and be, yet be the same colors. So I used this purple and orange piece of, of uh, it's a, actually, it was a shirt at one time. And I thought that was pretty. See? 
And then this is a bag. This is the green. There's some more of that. Uh, vintage lace. Uh, there's a pocket right here. And it's made out of fabric. And then you got different kinds of lace. You got this flower trim. You got uh, this lace here. And then I took these vintage buttons or white creamy colored buttons and put on there. Now, these buttons I glued down. Most of the buttons I got, I uh, sewed them down. But these I just glued down for the simple fact was I had not planned for these buttons to the last minute. And so I didn't have a, I didn't want to mess up the back by putting thread back there. So I just glued them down. So if they pop off, you glue them down. So, and then this is the end of my book right here. This is the back of it. And this is what the material looks like. If you're interested in this book, this journal, uh, just leave me a note and I'll get back with you. Uh, I'm asking 25 for this one. Uh, and just give me a comment and let me know what you think. Alright, God bless you. You have a good day. And thank you.